soldiers, Chris and me, voyage to the Iron Reef. the 3D, the fact that the illusion of going underwater, I thought was really well done. The Kraken Queen was really cool. I just thought it was really cool. And for me not being a very like big video game person, it is like, it was just awesome. What an amazing experience. What a, what a great, crazy, wacky, nonstop four minutes of hilarity. It was really fun. It's really elaborate and sophisticated and a wonderful detail. And even more exciting is the sense of movement through all the scenes. There's a, just an incredible amount of going forward, backwards, sideways, and a real sense of travel. And a lot of times I had to sort of check to see if we were really moving or not. It was a wonderful illusion. I don't want to brag, but I beat him by 4,000. And he beat me by 7,000. I love competition, and I love anything that's not passive and interactive, so it was a perfect ride for me since I make video games for a living. The one that probably scared me was probably the Queen Kraken thing. I didn't know what to expect, but I thought it was great, especially when they did kind of the big boss battle fights, you know, in the middle of it. The graphics look great and the 3D was strong. It was very detailed and, you know, I'm always skeptical of 3D stuff, but I thought it all, it all held together great. I liked how they started off in like the ship and when they, and they, and they also started the boss in the middle and made you think that that was the boss, but then you then you play the, play the real boss at the end. You didn't expect it coming, but all of a sudden there were like a million of those little robot things like all around you, like because it felt like a circular. It might have been. Yeah, a, and they come really close. So yeah. the scale grows. It was 3D, and from the beginning you were in this immersive environment, and you got to shoot all kinds of creatures, and you're just kind of spinning around and shooting like crazy, and it was it was a great time. Very good. Uh, I wanted to ask you, you did the ride. What did you think of the ride? I'm still kind of shaking from riding that attraction, but as soon as I got underwater and I could see graphics and CGI stuff was so believable. I mean, not just come at you a little bit. Some of those creatures are ready to bite my nose off. This thing is all around you. You come to what you think is the end of the attraction. You make a turn to the right and all of a sudden it gets really big really giant creature. I think I hit it just right. The whole darn thing blew up and disappeared. So I, I, man, I hope that was my shot. You know, you've designed some of the best rides and you're one of the pioneers of the industry. How would you compare it to some of my, one of my favorite rides is uh, Toy Story Mania. So well, Toy Story Mania is the one attraction at Disney that I ride over and over and over yeah. again because, yeah, sure, I'm 84, but give me a chance to do a shoot 'em up. I gotta come back here and see what kind of scores I can get. Because I think this one's got so much depth. There's so much more I gotta see. I mean, so you, you grabbed me, yes. Congratulations on defeating the Kraken Queen. Bring the ship for Mori and please holster your 